Hi guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching today's video. If you saw my previous video, you're aware that I went to the nail studio to get shade matched for the Clinique Even Better series. So after being shade matched, I was given a box which is supposed to be the appear box. And this is what the box looks like. So I'm going to repeat open now so you guys can see what I have here. In the box right here, I have a personalized notes behind it these are the three foundations I tried so the foundation I picked comes in this packet so without wasting much of your time let's apply the foundation by the way I already know what this foundation feels like on my skin I have worn it twice so I know what it is like but I want to come on here to just show you guys the coverage the wear test so you guys are aware about the foundation more so i'm gonna go in with three one two three so this foundation has a liquid runny consistency as you can see so i'm going to be using the nubian beauty foundation brush to apply this foundation so i want to do a one-sided application then i'll show you the other side of my face So at first when applying it may look like it's not your like skin tone it then oxidizes to become your skin tone so i'm going to go on to apply the rest of the foundation on my face so this is me after applying the foundation to my whole face and i like to go in with a beauty blender just so you know pressing the product very well so I'm going to be going in with Nivea Beauty Beauty Blender just to take out the you know excess shine doesn't mean it stops it from being a glowy foundation though brown skin girl my skin is like pearl right now Ooh. I'm super joyed right now I like how this feels with my skin it feels like I have nothing on my skin it is so good I feel like this is a bomb match what do you think underneath this foundation I have a moisturizer I use the embodies light cream and I also applied the sunscreen before I applied this foundation if you don't know this foundation contains SPF sounds go off camera to complete the rest of my face and I'll be back to show you guys what I look like so if you're wondering why it looks so powdery, it's because I went in with the Juvia's Place setting powder in the shade Namib. I actually do like how this powder brightens under my eyes. I really don't use it often because I'm more of a Laura Mercier girl. So I set this part of my face with a matte setting spray and I set here with the skincare setting spray. This is more like a Maribel Desco. So who is this foundation for? It's for dry combination to combination to oily skin. I do have a combination to oily skin. It claims to be dermatologist developed foundation that instantly perfects and continuously improves skin's radiance and texture. It claims to be lightweight. It does give you that skin luminous finish. It is next to skin in my opinion. What it does, it instantly creates a natural radiance with subtle luminizing pigments. It contains vitamin C and E that helps create a brighter skin tone. It also contains SPF 15 to protect you against future darkening. If you don't wear sunscreen, we're not friends. Anyway, it stays true to color. It's always, it always has an undetectable coverage um, that gives you also a flawless finish. This foundation claims to be appropriate for contact lens wearers. Um, there are lots of ingredients here. So, it, wow, it contains salicylic acid. Time now is 12.47. I'm going to head out now and I'll be back. So guys, I just got back and the time right now is... And this is what my face looks like. Don't forget, here was set with um, a facial mist. And here was set with a matte setting spray. Let me just show you guys a closer view of my face. In about 5 hours. And this is what I have. This is so good. Like... No touch up, no blotting, no nothing. Our weather right now is currently hot here in Nigeria and 
this foundation is doing amazing it's sweat proof basically you're sweating but one thing i want you guys to know is that when you're sweating through this foundation do not blot do not even touch your face just go to where it has air and just let the air dry down your sweat and you're back to good when you blot this foundation is going to shift take it from me I'm going to carry this on for about two, three, four hours more before I wipe off the makeup. So I'll come back to show you guys what my face looks like. Guys, it is fully 10 hours. The time right now is... You guys, I deserve accolades. Like, you guys can see that this side is a lot more shinier than here. But well, here you can just see I'm shining around here my chin and a little bit around my forehead. So I'm going back to this beauty blender to block my face okay okay wow. clinic what did you guys do what did you guys do so this brings my foundation review to an end if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one au revoir